Hey everyone, I am Bashatwa, your host for today's session. And today Namya would be joining us for sharing her tips and tricks for cracking up a dream internship at Western Digital. The stage is all yours, Namya. Over to you. Uh, thank you for inviting me. So let me introduce myself first. So I'm Namya Jain, an IT undergrad at IGDTUW. So I was selected as a trainee at the Boost 3.0 program at Cisco this summer. Also, I was among the top 2.5% participants at Google Girl Hackathon 2023. I have won some of the international and national hackathons and I love building uh, Flutter applications and currently I'm trying hands-on data science and machine learning. That's pretty much well. Now, Namya would be sharing uh, any, cop any common topics which you have faced or experienced from your seniors that uh, in data structures and algorithms. Okay, so like for the uh, online assessment test, so graphs, dynamic programming and trees are some of the topics which are major majorly asked in most of the OAs. And talking about the interviews, then it's very specific to companies, but I would say that trees is a topic which is very much asked in almost all the companies. And talking about some of the mathematical concepts, they are also asked and basic uh, searching techniques and sorting techniques they are also asked in many of the interviews so don't neglect these topics as well they are basic topics but uh, at uh, whenever we advance to advanced topics we tend to uh, forget them but they are also very important for interviews so these are some of the topics which my seniors guided me during the internship season and i also worked upon these topics so uh, you must have experienced that college subjects are too being asked in interviews, especially the core subjects like operating systems and database. So uh, what was your preparation strategy regarding this and any resources did you share? Did you prefer? Okay, so for operating system, I refer to Gate Smashers playlist uh, for the university exams as well as for the internship preparation. Talking about database management system, then I refer to Gate Smashers and also to Apna College SQL query part because their uh, SQL queries are taught and they are practically implemented as well. So that's a great resource for learning about the SQL queries. So these are some of the resources. And also GFG is a very uh, great platform to learn learn and read about all these topics there are articles written in short but there you get to learn a lot of things about the topics uh, on all these core subjects so this was my preparation strategy and also for a uh, um, and for object oriented programming, I refer to Priyanka's playlist and then Code with Harry. That's a very uh, great resource. So, co with Code with Harry, you will be able to implement uh, the object oriented part by coding, and uh, in that way, you will be able to learn and understand the concepts more clearly. So, yeah, these were some of the resources which I used for core subjects. Even you can refer to the Navathe book and E. Bala Goswami book for oops for a person like me who loves reading books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are actually prescribed in the syllabus but are really informative and do cover all the concepts which are asked. Now coming yeah, but like I yeah, I like watching videos, so <laughs> <laughs> pretty much well. Coming to the uh, next section, uh, do you uh, did you find any hackathon experience like you mentioned in the beginning? The you have won uh, many hackathons on national and international level. What was your experience, and how did you find them helpful in interviews? Okay, so hackathons played a major role in my HR interview because uh, there uh, the interviewer asked me about my achievements. So at that time, it's very crucial to list down all your major uh, achievements. So firstly, I started with mentioning the Cisco Boost program. Then I came on to the Google Girl Hackathon. And after that, I mentioned the international hackathon, which are conducted by MLH. So MLH conducts the hackathons all over the world. So there you get to learn from hackers not only in India but also around the globe. So competing at that level and uh, winning uh, prizes in those hackathons, they are very much appreciated I would say. So I had won two MLH hackathons which were held at the international level. So I mentioned them during the interview and also at the national level like there are university hackathons and also on devfolio there are a lot of uh, hackathons which are mentioned so do participate in those hackathons 
and uh, yeah i also won one idea thon so that's also important because pitching the idea is also as important as developing the product so uh, you have to mention both the hackathon part and the idea thon so that would give you an edge over others so this is, was my experience with hackathons so, that yeah. pretty much sums up well let's now come to the interview process for waste in digital Firstly, we would like to know the eligible branches and if there was any CGP criteria in general. Okay, so the eligible branches were CSC, IT, EC, and EC AI. So, uh, and the CGP criteria was eight and above. And active and dead backlogs were not allowed. So, if you are having any backlogs, so sorry, but you won't be able to sit for the first round, which was the resume shortlisting round. So, uh. at that time you have to submit your resumes so after i guess 2 to 3 days the resume shortlisting uh, results were out and from my class only two girls were selected me and one another so resume shortlisting was very crucial during this process so make sure that you make your resume up to the mark and some of the resume tips which i would uh, suggest you is that make the resume on overly okay don't make it on some other application because overleaf is an platform which provides resume which are ats friendly and also use resume worded website for checking your ats score so that's very helpful so i also checked it and um, it gives you a fair idea that whether your resume has covered all the core headings or not so always start with your education part then comes up uh, then comes up your experience your projects then your honors and awards where you can mention your hackathons or any coding uh, challenges which you have won you or you have participated and you have reached a certain stage in that so that's very important that you mention them and also mention about your extracurricular activities the societies which you are taking part or some of the donation drives which you are taking part in or some you are a part of some ngos or anything just mention them because they also help and give boost to your resume they show that yes you are able to communicate well because uh, you know taking part in societies provides you an edge because you have interpersonal skills as well like teamship qualities are there then it tells that you have you possess good communication skills soft skills then leadership qualities because you are at some core position in the societies so do mention them and projects are very very important make sure that you add at least two uh, projects in your resume so this was the resume tip and then talking about the resume uh, after the resume shortlisting so interviews were held Navya, uh, would you like to share your projects? Like you must be having two projects in resume, two major projects. On which tech stacks were they built? Were, were they a team project or your solo projects? Okay, so one was my solo project, and the other two were my team projects. So, uh, two projects were flat based on Flutter framework, uh, possessing Dart programming language. so one the team project so that i built with a team of uh, three more uh, of my friends so uh, that was basically an application for uh, you know providing help to the elderly people then secondly was my individual project which i developed alone that was also based on flutter and dart and that had authentication from firebase as well so firebase was also used there and uh, then there was another project which was based of based on figma so yeah i designed the application with three more friends of mine so these were uh, the three projects which i mentioned in my resume so that pretty much sums up let's now come to the technical round the final round which you faced for the in the interview process okay so like the interview so uh, the interview round was tech and hr both so firstly the interviewer asked me to introduce myself okay then i introduced then he was curious to know that why i want to uh, join their company so just uh, you have to read about the company beforehand so research about the company well uh, read their uh, values their principles their products so just understand that and then he also asked me the products like uh, what all do you know about the products they are building so it's very important that you read about their products and mention some of the uh, products as well uh, while discussing with the interviewer 
then uh, i discussed about the company culture as well then he asked me uh, some of the uh, questions which were related to my family background and uh, everything after that he asked me some of the puzzles to test my uh, you know skills like whether i'm able to think out of the box or not so honestly i never handled puzzles beforehand i i have never read them also i knew that there are puzzles on gfg platform but i never went through them because major uh, majorly what my seniors uh, you know guided me was that they ask you dsa they ask you core subjects and puzzles are very rare to be asked so i never emphasize more on that part but only with that was asked so at that point of time like i was stuck for a moment but then when he gave me the question so i started out you know thinking like what could be the solution and then i asked him some of the clarifying doubts like uh, there were some so he when he mentioned the question so i was confused at some of the points so i just clarified that is uh, that am i thinking right or am i going something in the wrong direction and he uh, and he just you know guided me throughout the process and after that i was able to answer the puzzles so yeah that was pretty much also i would suggest that uh, for me no dsa question was asked puzzles were asked and some brainstorming questions were asked basically that was not very technical part but he was testing my overall knowledge that whether i'm able to think uh, like in a judgmental way or not so that was judged and while some of my friends they were asked dsa question and they were asked dsa question on bit manipulation topic so if you are preparing for western digital so just make sure that you you know um, just make sure that you practice some of the questions related to bit manipulation topic and also if you are from electronics branch then you will be asked about the electronic core subjects as well so one of my ec friend he uh, she was asked about you know logic gates so while you are preparing for interviews or for internship never ever you know try to demean your core subjects like for the electronic branch particularly you are learning the computer core subjects but don't you know demean your core subjects as well so just go for the digital and electronics part as well while you are preparing and then he asked me that what do you know about the role because it was a firmware engineer role so it was not quite common for an it student to know what a firmware is so he asked me that what do you know about firmware so beforehand i researched about what is the role of a firmware engineer so just read about that beforehand like the role which you are interview you are interviewed for so that if you are cross question then then you are able to answer that correctly so i mentioned about the role and explain whatever i could understand by reading on the web so that's very important and also one tip for the interview uh, just keep a pen and notebook handy with you so most of the juniors uh, uh, during the intern season have really common doubts regarding what are the common questions any sheet which you found useful or yeah. like personally i found the lead code most like 100 questions very useful during the preparation so what was your strategy okay so i code up in c++ so i found the love bubber playlist very help, uh, helpful at that time for starting the concepts like stacks queues linked list and all these topics and after that for advanced like trees and graphs and dynamic programming for these three topics i refer to strivers playlist so that's very a uh, good resource and talking about the sheet so i followed the strivers sd sheet for practicing the interview questions and for you know preparing for oas as well and just have a look at the love bubble 450 questions sheet as well because they are very helpful for revising the data structures like stacks queues and all of these because there are a lot of questions and you get handy on these data structures so uh, these were some of the resources and also for sql just practice the lead code sql 50 questions this is a study plan in lead code because in some of the uh, oas um, some companies ask the dbms queries as well so it's important that you practice the sql queries so yeah so this is pretty this sums up pretty much well We have come to the end of the session. Thank you so much, Namya, for joining me up today. I hope juniors would be benefited from your experience, your journey, and your preparation strategies. Okay. Thanks a lot for having me.